Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about an unfortunate event um, and it is brought to us by the Black Conservative Perspective. It's the instant regret of four teenagers killed after allegedly attempting the steal a Kia TikTok challenge. So we all know that TikTok is dumbing down kids and um, look. I'm going to blame this on the parents. Uh, it wouldn't even surprise me if they're all black and it wouldn't even surprise me if they were all raised by single moms. This is what these type of people breed lawlessness, no respect for authority, no respect for other people's things. When I was growing up, we were told don't touch shit that isn't yours. Do not put your hands on anything that doesn't belong to you. So, you know, look, I love kids. I love young people, adults, you know, that's a different story. Um, but I have more compassion for younger people um, because they are our future. However, when you do shit like this, you know, I, it's hard to feel sorry for you because you, you knew what the consequences were and you decided to do it anyway. So without further ado, let's get into this sad, but, um, you know, karma, they left my steering wheel lock sitting on the seat just to, you know, rub it in my face, probably. They left this on here. I'm not really sure what this was for. <laughs> they tore apart my steering wheel lock. Kias are manufactured so that you can actually hotwire a Kia with an iPhone charger. Wow. So we love that. Um, they practically flipped my shit into a trap house. Wow. They had a really, <laughs> oh, really so great time. Oh, make America great again. <laughs> time in here, actually. And they also left me with a really nice present on my car. Looks like they might have gotten into a little tussle on the road. And I'm not quite sure what that is. And everything is stolen. See you at the next haul. All right, guys. So we got to talk about a story that I believe is a prime example of evolution by natural selection. Take a look. Charges have been filed in connection with a crash that cut four young lives short. A 16-year-old is charged with unauthorized use of a vehicle and possession of stolen property. Buffalo police have also released the names of the victims. They say 19-year-old Marcus Webster, 17-year-old Swazine Swindle, 16-year-old Kevin Payne, and 14-year-old An Anaya Harper died in the crash on the 33 early Monday morning. Police say the vehicle that rolled over near the 198 was a stolen Kia. We have reported on that make of car being a common target among thieves. Some victims are even suing Kia because of this problem. 7 News reporter Krista Moran continues our coverage with the spike we are seeing here. Kia, that means competition, baby. You need to up, your, your customers are not satisfied with your product, you know? But then, you know, Kia's always have problems. That's why I don't drive them anymore and how vehicle owners can protect themselves. We have a female student in the class. You have a gift. Following Monday morning's deadly crash at the 33 Skajakwita split, police say the driver behind the wheel was not the vehicle's owner. The car was reported stolen. The stolen car, a Kia Sportage. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia saying this points to a much larger problem we're seeing in western New York and nationwide. We have seen, uh, began to see a sharp increase in the number of Kias locally. <laughs> Uh, that have been stolen. Grimalia tells me since the beginning of 2020, car thefts have skyrocketed in Buffalo and Erie County. Car thefts are up 90% wow. compared to this time last year, with a higher percentage of Kias being stolen. He says police believe this stolen Kia involved in the crash may have been motivated by a social media challenge. I know uh, Kias are wide. TikTok needs to be banned. Publicized. 
the Kia Challenge, as it's called. They are very easy, unfortunately, to steal. The viral Kia Challenge can be found on TikTok, showing how to steal Kias and Hyundais in a matter of seconds. But Ian Meyer over at Z-Bard in Hamburg says there are ways to protect yourself. We do offer remote starts with an alarm system attached. Um, one of our options even has like GPS positioning, everything like that. Meyer says older models of Kia and Hyundais are being targeted because of the turn to start ignition. That's why it's so easy to be done with something as simple as a USB cord. The USB mimics the shape of the key and everything like that once you start put in the ignition. So they're able to use that just to turn it on just like a normal key would be able to. <laughs> Meyer says this could be a good option to help prevent this from happening to you. It's not going to act as a straight up deterrent for the theft or anything like that, but it gives you a little bit extra peace of mind. Grimalia also says that something like this is 100% preventable. He says folks should make sure that they don't leave their keys in the car and that they don't leave their car unattended and running. Meantime, I also reached out to TikTok for a comment about this dangerous and illegal Kia challenge, but I get to hear back. Horn Hamburg, Krista Moran, 7 News. Why would you? <laughs> so here's the thing. If America um, can ban, our government can ban certain um, foods, because they know it would um, be in direct competition with food companies here in, in, in America, which are pretty much making a monopoly that pretty much have monopolized a lot of our food um, resources from um, products from Europe, which have, have turned to be turned out to be safe and effective and, you know, not filled with contaminants and uh, additives and artificial flavors and all that other stuff. If they're willing to do that, why won't they do this uh, to TikTok, which clearly is having a very uh, real effect on Americans in, in, the, in the most, and not the most productive way, just saying. I mean, four people literally just got killed, so. Yeah, so I feel really, 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 really bad for the owner of that Kia. Oh. Okay, because <laughs> it looked like it was a nice car, and it's just a shame to, to lose a car like that to a silly TikTok challenge. Now, I don't know why anybody would buy a Kia, especially a Kia Soul, right? Like, have you guys ever seen the, the, the Kia Soul that's, like, green? Look, I had a Kia Soul because I liked the box shape of it, but, you know, I quickly got rid of it after having it. When well, I got that, that car brand new, and after a year... After a year was having a transmission problems, and this was a 2017, brand new, mind you, zero miles on it. I was so happy because it was the first car I ever bought that was brand new. Um, yeah, I'll never ever do that again, and I will. I I have stayed away from Kia. Period. I'm either a, a Nissan. I do like German cars a lot more, but Japanese and um, Nissans, uh, Japanese and German cars, I prefer. Uh, I would do American cars here, but I, I prefer old classic American cars like these new cars. I just don't really like, I don't, I just don't really like them. Um, or at least the ones that were in my bracket of affordability. Yeah. They never really seemed like they were reliable. It's one of the ugliest cars I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, <laughs> who would buy? A car like that, <laughs> where you can go to the lot and pick out <laughs> any other car that you want, okay, within that price range, you're going to get a green Kia Soul. I got yeah, a black I'm not sure why anybody would want to steal one of these cars, but apparently that is a TikTok challenge that is going on across the country where you have Kias and Hondas being targeted because apparently they're easy to steal. Right. And you have kids that are participating in this challenge. And it just so happened these kids who allegedly were probably definitely participating in this challenge. Um, they got a quick lesson on Darwinism that unfortunately was <laughs> fatal. OK. Oh, um, and, you know, in, in situations like this, That's cold, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of something I tell my friends a lot. I haven't said this on my channel. I should probably start saying it more. But I believe that 100 years from now, uh, when we look back at our time period, right, the early 2000s, 2010s, 2020s, uh, we're going to say the greatest invention of our time, of the internet era, was social media, right, outside of the internet. But it's going to be social media. And it's going to be for good reasons and bad reasons. The good thing about social media is that it has connected us to the rest of the world. 
we can communicate with each other and we can kind of understand and see how other people live and connect with them uh, in ways in which we could never do so before in the past. I think that is a good thing. However, uh, <laughs> there's also downsides to that. And one of the biggest downsides, probably the greatest negative externality from social media is apps like TikTok, which are poisoning kids. Okay, It's incentivizing children to participate in stupid challenges like this. In this case, these teenagers lost their lives because they were participating in this stupid challenge. But you also have other negative externalities of TikTok as well, too. Like, for example, you have, uh, you know, kids that believe that they are the opposite sex, okay, that are, you know, getting gender dysphoria and that believe they have it and that are getting... Yes, I 100% agree with everything you say, uh, George, here on um, TikTok and how it's literally dumbing students or dumbing our youth and people and... Uh, Wow. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, so my thoughts on that is, well, you, you know, I've said this before, one, stu one place to be gains, one stupid prizes. I do feel sorry for the individual who car got demolished, like, you know, George here said, but I do not feel sorry for the individuals who decided to play um, charades, uh, no, who, who decided to gamble with their lives, not only um, with about their future prospects in the form of, you know, uh, their future prospects when it comes to not... Uh, biting themselves in the foot by having a criminal record, uh, but also just um, their lives in general. They roll the dice and you stole a car. Now four are dead. The other one's going to get charged. And that was the ro the, ro the dice you decided to, to roll. And well, now you got to deal with what it, the hand that it gave you. Uh, you. You thought your life was so bad before. <laughs> Enjoy the pen.